Hello everyone, we're back again, and um, well, we was over in New York temporarily, we're back at the homestead. Reason being I went to New York was to pick up some more bits and pieces and buy a couple of things. Do you have business in New York on occasion? I only ask because I ordered a package from France and it's long overdue. I've written a postmaster and he's yet to respond. I thought you could inquire in person if you had the chance. I will pass by the next time I am there. Hey, well, we'll just have to head back to New York then. So I've also been busy sending some stuff in the land convoy because I've come across a glitch as well for um, stockpiling. Um, there's something about it where I don't know if it's what Connor actually holds on his person that's causing the interference or not. So I'm trying to sell things off getting rid like i've sold all my stuff that i could sell in the shop like that connor has to hand uh only to end up with the result of it not changing anything so i've decided to you know make the sale that i've done and well just go from there really but uh all of it's just going to give us all the cash that we need and Doing all these homestead missions now is more or less just getting everyone artisan wise to max tier. So I think the only ones that are not going to be at max tier just yet will be the Doctor, I think. Because there's something story driven that will make his thing go to the next stage, I think. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. It's been a while. I have come to inquire on a package arriving from France on behalf of Lance O'Donnell. Was picked up and signed for by his apprentice a couple of days back, Patrick O'Hara. Patrick O'Hara is Mr. O'Donnell's former apprentice. Would you happen to know where he is? Sure. He's been hanging around the docks the last few days. Should be around the way. Here. Take these pages and hide them. Don't let that guy get his hands on them. Talk about being pathetic. I'm guessing I'm going to actually have to knock the guy out. I don't want to kill him. I wonder, could I actually solicit?
provider of beef, veal, and live bullets of several varietals. The choice of all discerning restaurateurs. We do go over the top. Turn to Lance, we shall. Oh, bloody back doing me in. I should also spend some of my time actually hunting the rest of the game in the wildlife, finding deer and such. Come on, Lance, where are you? You upstairs? Oh. I have your plans. What are they for? You got them! This, Connor, is the design for a chair that folds. Genius! You won't regret this. There we go. Level 3 goods now can be made. New recipe discovered inks. Well, kind of already found that. Connor! Great timing! I was just getting underway on something that might be of interest to you. What is that? Those plans you retrieved for me. And believe you me, they were worth all the fuss. A folding chair. I do not follow you. It's a chair that folds, Connor. You can fold it right up and stack them, store them, transport them. I could have a thousand chairs in my back room. It's simple brilliance, and I am going to make a fortune. A folding chair. Hmm. Well, I wish you the best with it. You'll see, Connor. You'll see. And 
we've also got a conversation piece here, but uh, let's deal with uh, this first, shall we? They'll have to get through us first. We're with you, big guy. Connor. Connor. They're coming, David. We need to be ready. Who is coming? Redcoats. David's to be tried for treason. They executed more than likely. Connor, glad you're here. I want to show you something. I've collected these kegs. I might suggest building an ambush in the event we need it. They'll likely have numbers at least two to one. Connor, I'm sorry for bringing this violence on the village. We protect our own. The British will not risk losing more soldiers for one deserter. You are free of it now. Hmm. The homestead continues to grow. All of the time and effort that's going into this place does mean a lot. And since we did get a convoy to come back, um, down to what Connor would have. He's got six of those. Uh, 27 to 29. Yeah, you're going to take them all. I'm just going to get rid of anything that Connor would have accumulated. Uh-huh. 
And then when that one's done, I'll do the same thing. Connor, I'm so glad you're here. The plans I bought, they weren't just a folding chair. Oh, no, they had something else with them. Something quite astonishing. A flying machine designed by Leonardo da Vinci himself. And I built it. Ha! You can be the first to try it if you like. You'll be able to fly, soar like an eagle. And it works? Da Vinci was one of the greatest minds in human history. As brilliant a man as there has ever been, you can be certain it works. Would you like to try? Yes. Such a device would certainly prove useful. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> well, looks like it didn't truly work after all. Big sad, I know, but... That's the price you pay for genius. Okay, well, for now, the boring parts going to come into this so I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to be spending my time if you give us a bit of patience on this to travel to the frontier do anything that's related to the frontier itself and this could be from feather collections to missions of like gathering resources and such all that silly nonsense and once that's all done I would be in New York, meeting up with Haytham to potentially, um, well, deal with anything else. Considering it's just him and Charles Lee now, um, maybe we'll convince Haytham? Maybe Haytham will just stab us in the back? Who knows? But we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye for now.